So there it is, beautiful snook. We're gonna give it a little bit of fish pass. Obviously it's fish, so that would be pretty clear you're gonna put fish pass on it. We're gonna whack on some paprika on this as well, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So here we go, generous offering of spices. As you can see, you don't have to be shy in any way. Don't have to put it all the way around because obviously we're going to be putting butter on it and that will pull the flavor through all of it. On goes the black pepper. Oh, love our black pepper we do. And a little bit of salt just to finish it off. On, on other meats like red meats, I wouldn't put salt on like while I'm cooking it because that draws out the liquid, but this has obviously got quite a bit of liquid in it. Lovely little finely chopped garlic. Chunky finely chopped garlic, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> would you look at that? Can never have enough garlic. Very good for mosquitoes. They, they, they don't really like it. Perfect. We love it. Oh, absolutely adore it. Okay, from here we're going to slice up some butter. You just do generous little offerings of butter slices. And would you look at that? We're gonna cover this bad boy in butter. While that's happening, gonna have a quick sip of my beer. Cheers, guys. Cheers. My and glasses my wife's, down my there. wife's glasses are about to come to her. Oh, thank you. Cheers, baby. <laughs> ching, ching. Cheers, cheers. Video's taking you a little bit longer now. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, just thinly slice of butter, nice little wedges over there. <laughs> Obviously what this is going to do, because we've taken the tin full and we've raised the tin full up like that, so that obviously the butter won't run out and it will give you a beautiful texture on your fish. Very good for the heart, this apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, it does give lovely flavor, so there it goes. And um, then we're going to hit some red pepper. I like to get the color difference, so we've got red, yellow, and green. And you just throw it on any way you want, it doesn't have to be perfect. So what we'll do is if there's any fish left over, we'll, we'll debone the fish. Um, and then you take the peppers and the onions and everything, and you take a little zhuzh, you zhuzh it up and you make yourself a lovely snook pate. You can put that into like a little Tupperware, whack it in the freezer. And when you've got people coming over as a starter, you could do lovely snook pate on crackers, uh, quite a beautiful start of that. On goes the red onions, no further ado. Look at that, man, that is really starting to take some color now, eh? Mm. Woo! If you could smell this, it'd be amazing. So let's see what's happening over there, bra pies on. Wow, we look at that. And still going onto our little fish here. So from here, we've got a little bit of a lamb rib that we're gonna spice up and I'm gonna um, smoke the lamb rib in the weeber. Oh, that's going to be delicious, and we'll just do that as like little snacky things. So the main, obviously, is going to be our fish that we're doing now. Going to put a little bit more pepper on, on the top. Woo, that is really taking shape now. So if you can see the sort of height of that, I mean, that's looking great, eh? Gonna put a tin full lid in it um, just crimp it around the side so obviously you just could turn this over here and just make it a little bit tighter and push it in the side so obviously when the butter goes down it's cooking throughout the whole fish I do love to have these open fish like this um, gives gives fantastic flavors so I think we're almost pretty much done just a couple more onions Oh yeah, would you look at that. That's the last few pieces going on. No further ado. Hope you guys have an amazing day. From us, have an awesome weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Have a beautiful day, guys. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Yeah. Snook. Mm, a little bit more spice, baby. <laughs>